Hello, my car loving friends. Love you. You know, a cool car just isn't quite as cool without a really nice set of wheels. Now, I love the bottle cap wheels that come on this car. I think they're iconic. I just love them. The problem is you really can't get a good set of 14 inch tires to go on those wheels. Now, maybe someday I'll get someone to take those old bottle cap wheels, create a two piece out of them and make them 17 inch and use them on this car. But for now, I think I need to get a decent set of wheels. And what could be cooler for an 80s BMW than a cool set of BBS wheels? They're absolutely period correct and a lot of the cars came with them anyways. Now these wheels were definitely not cheap or easy to find, but the set I got are in pretty good condition, but you know me, I'm gonna refinish them anyways. So today I'm gonna show you how I refinished a classic set of BBS wheels. So you know what? Let's get to it. time has come for me to go ahead and start refinishing these rims here in order to take all these out so we can separate the barrels from the center pieces we're going to use a 10 millimeter 12 point and basically just fits over going to need some extensions and a breaker bar we're going to just take all these out and then we're going to separate this Now normally, the center cap and the barrel do not come apart that easy. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What? Usually you have to do some other stuff to get these apart. Oh shit, here we go again. But in this case, I must've put enough juice in there. What? Or something like that, that it just came apart. Getting those pins out is a little on the tough side and of course there are a lot of them, but just take your time. I know you can get it done. And the masters of the universe. Okay, so now that we have all the wheels totally broken down, we're gonna strip the paint off of these in the clear coat. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're gonna use these crappy old brushes, this paint stripper right here, so that they can be refinished. Hopefully this works. Needless to say, I've never done this before. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off? Or see here underneath the gray paint we've got some primer and then possibly a clear coat before we actually get to the real paint so we got a lot more stripping to do finally the strippers here what no oh, I'm not a stripper I'm a pilot Twenty four hours later. So we're gonna try a new tactic on this today. I'm gonna to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. I've done three coats on the rear here, and I've done two coats on the front, and there are at least probably three or four coats of paint on here. Basically, we've got the original silver, which you can still see some of on the back. Definitely taken more off the back than the front. But we've got the original coat of silver, a clear coat, then a primer, and then the gold paint. And so it's just, it's going too slow. This paint stripper is not cheap. What we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna coat it 
We're gonna put it in this plastic bag. Oh, what brilliant parenting, Lois. Leave a tiny infant with a plastic bag. We're gonna let it sit for quite a few hours. Hopefully it can just take off the rest of it and we won't have to do so much scraping. But uh, we're getting pretty close. I'm just frustrated with how slow it's going. Do it very slowly. Later. We're gonna unwrap these and pressure wash them and see what we get. Yeah, this one here is uh, very pesky. It's really hanging on to a lot of paint. Still got a lot of work to do on these puppies, but we're getting there. We're gonna do one more round where we wrap these up. Here I go, just like that boy from Inexcess. And leave it overnight and see what happens. The next day. So it's time to get these things out of here and see if an overnight sitting in the goop makes any difference. That's what she said. Hopefully they're pretty clean, but we'll see. So me stripping the wheels is not working out the way I had hoped. It was taking way too long. Do you even listen to yourself when you talk? And the stripper material is like 30 bucks a can for a tiny can. So I got them all loaded up in the trunk here and we're gonna find a local powder coater and see if they'll throw them in their dunk tank for us and strip them anyways. Uh-oh, dad's bringing in the big guns. Let's see what you've got, little bitch. Now, of course, this is only two of the wheels. I'm going to have to do the other two later, but they're on the car right now. I don't really feel like taking the tires off the car and all that stuff. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. All right, we got muriatic acid and water, baking soda and water. We're going to strip and clean these bolts, get them rust free, and we're going to use this to do it. Yes, science! We're gonna try one bag at a time. So we're gonna use this magnet and we're gonna pull all of the bolts out of the acid solution and we're gonna put them in the neutralizer. Yeah, bitch! Magnets, oh! All right, it looks like all of them. Also looks like we might need to uh, clear out our acid bath here and refresh it. Okay, so the lips of the wheels are lightly polished. They're ready to go. I got them taped up because we're gonna put them on their face and then we're gonna paint the inside of these barrels. I'm not super worried about really refinishing them or anything. They're just gonna be black, very simple. And I'm just using these little circular templates here to make sure that's where the paint goes. So I'm just gonna clean these up one last time. We're gonna prime them and then we're gonna paint them black. Now the rear barrel of these rims fall into the category of it needs to be good enough. I'm not going for a concours restoration as I've said in the past, but even more so, the back of these rims is never gonna be seen. And chances are, the back of these rims is gonna be damaged or scratched. Just putting the tires on. So I want this black coating to be durable and on there but it doesn't have to look good. That's why I spent very little time actually preparing the surfaces or anything like that. We scuffed them up, we cleaned them off, and we sprayed them down and they look pretty good and they'll do. Next we got our center caps and we're gonna make these go back to gold. 
I love gold. If you're wondering why they look white, that's because when they get sandblasted, they get turned to their original metal basically, and they have no gloss or anything because, well, they end up kind of really rough. And so the regular color of this stuff when it's rough is white. But by the end of today, it's gonna be gold. I love gold so much that I even lost my genitalia in an unfortunate smelting accident. Process is basically the same as the barrels. We're gonna go ahead and hit this with a primer, then our paint. But in this case, we're gonna use a two-stage clear so these are durable and the paint stuff lasts a long time, hopefully. So we're gonna see what we can do here. But the first thing we gotta do is go ahead and use some mineral oil and clean these all up, make sure that there is nothing on here that paint isn't going to stick to. Nice. Needless to say, we're using mineral spirits, not mineral oil. Time to start putting these back together, but I did not paint the nut part. Hey, this not cut in the mail today? That's gonna be on the back, but I wanna make sure they're protected and not too annoying for someone else to remove and refinish. Oh, cause some came in the mail today. But I'm gonna need a piece of this to put in there so I can spray real quick the backs of those bolts. So what I'm gonna do, mark all these out so I can cut them down and be able to spray the back of the these nuts. <laughs> All right, let's start putting these back together. Now a couple things that you might be worried about when you're tightening these nuts <laughs> up is bringing these up and over tightening them. But it's really obvious when the faces of the bolts have hit the face of these nuts. <laughs> Got he. The centerpiece and you just stop. Collaborate and listen. And then we'll torque all of these up individually later to the proper torque. But it's really obvious when the faces of the bolts hit so it's pretty easy not to over tighten them and looks like these are pretty good there we go not not half bad it would have been nice if these lips had been in better condition but this is only the rough polish we're going to finish polishing this up along with this and then of course the center caps have been on the way for almost two months so hopefully they arrive soon we'll get those painted up and put on they're going to look absolutely amazing they look pretty good they're not perfect, but they're all set to go and get mounted at the wheel shop tomorrow. I'm excited to get them on the car. Tomorrow for sure. So the tires are on, and you can see that there obviously is always some damage at the tire shop putting these things in. So what I'm going to do is go and touch these up, and then because these nuts will rust. Got it! <laughs> oh! Go ahead and just primer these nuts and paint them. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. So that we don't have to worry uh, if we go to take these off, that they're gonna be all rusted and corroded and all that good stuff. So basically, after that, all we have to do is flip them over and finish polishing the fronts, and they're ready to go on.
All right, we're gonna put center caps on here. So we have these screw adapters and these things use an Allen key. So all we have to do, slip them on the back, make sure they're fully up against, and then tighten them on. So the surrounds fit in here, and then the center cap just screws into the piece that we just put on here. Holds down the center cap and everything real nice. And then we'll have an emblem in the center. It'll look similar to that, but there's a piece that snaps in here that holds the emblem. And that should be here in a day or so. And we'll be able to totally finish these off. Now this is the final result on these wheels. They're certainly not perfect. And these are actually kind of dirty because I've been using them for a little while. But admittedly, they look much better than they did when I got them. And I really, really like how they look on the car. Why am I spending all this time and money on this old beat up 733 that's not worth anything? I don't know. Well, it could only be for the love of cars. And if you're watching this, I'll bet you love old cars too. So go out there and find that one that you always wanted sitting in a dusty field. What a piece of junk. Bring it home and get it back on the road. If this moron can do it, I know you can too. So you know what? I will see you guys in the next video.